Hi, I'm Claire Wasey and I'm a personal stylist and I'm going to give you some style tips today. For any style tips that you need that you don't find on these videos, go to my website www.clairewasey.com. Hi, today I'm talking to you about how to wear a short dress. Obviously, you need fab legs to start with, so make sure that they're shaved or they're beautifully tighted up and make sure that they look fantastic. Um, really important thing with wearing a short dress is to also wear a fantastic heel because that's going to make your legs look the best they possibly can. So try and go for something that's got a bit of a stack so you don't feel like you're in agony at the end of the day, but make sure a little bit of a heel is always really, really good to show off your legs for their best and make them look longer, which is always a bonus. In terms of the actual dress shapes, I think in terms of styling a short dress, you're really better off going for something that's high neckline. Um, I've got two great examples here, um, current season. Um, the dresses are really, really great because they actually don't have that much shape in the body. They really are straight up, straight down, but they've got much more exciting necklines, which means that you can play around with accessories. But it also means that you're making your legs the key feature. So the most important thing when looking at you is your legs, and that's what you want to play on. Um, these are really, really great dresses in terms of just a classic smock. So they work on most figure shapes. But what I would say is if you're wearing a smock dress and it's quite short, I'd really redefine your body as much as you can by bringing in a belt shape, even if it's just something loose, just to bring in and show off your waist because it'll make your legs look longer, but it'll also redistribute everything in the top half of your body and make it look much more even. Um, another great short dress shape is something like this, which is like a wrap dress, but it's already sewn up for you. It's an open neckline, but it's really flattering if you've got a slightly bigger bust and don't want to go right up here with your neckline. Um, it's nice and short, so you can wear tights, you can wear leggings, you can really go crazy with it. But if you're slightly bigger, it's really good at balancing out your body, so you can redefine your waist by bringing in a belt there or just using a tie that's already there. It's also got a sleeve on it, which is really, really good for covering up your, your arms. So if you've got a slightly bigger top half than you have bottom half, this is a great option for you because it opens out the top half of your body, you can accessorise it, but it's still showing off your fab legs. And this is a really great, current, current season, bohemian feel to it. So you really have to play and mix with your textures and things when you're accessorising. So go for some furs or some knits to really play, play up a dress like that. If we're thinking evening, then you've got really, I think, two options. If you've got a smaller bust, I would say it's really, really good to go for something strapless because you're not going to be falling out from top and bottom. You really usually just play with one key asset, so either your bust or your legs. Um, with this one, you're playing on both of your key assets, but if you have a bigger bust, I would definitely recommend putting either a t-shirt or something underneath just so that it feels less obvious because I think something like this can go overboard on the glam factor because you really are showing off your legs but you're showing off your bust as well. Um, also, really important, redefine your waist otherwise you're just going to look like you're wearing a tube. So make sure your legs look great, you redefine your waist and if you've got a bigger bust maybe pop a t-shirt underneath just to make it a bit more edgy. Another fantastic look is again just a high neck, short skirt. It's a really classic way of doing a short dress and this is an evening option so it's lace so it's even more sexy than it would be even if it's just a normal fabric. It's really great because it's got bust darts in it so it allows for a bust but equally if you've not got a bust then go for something that hasn't got as much, it's got more pleating so it accentuates a bust for you. Pop that back there. So this is a really great evening short dress. It's nice and high neck, so you are really, really making a key feature of your legs. Maybe add a statement necklace in there, but you don't need to redefine anything. Just put a killer shoe on and really make your legs the key statement of your outfit. So when you're thinking about a short dress and you're thinking about buying one, really I think it's important to just make sure that your legs are the key factor. So add in a coloured tight or exciting shoe, but make sure that that from your waist down is the most important element of your outfit and make sure that I would say keep it higher on the neckline because it's more flattering and it means that you're not going overboard on the sexy factor. So enjoy wearing your short dresses. <laughs>